Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Welcome back for Satisfactory Update 6, our uh, mega base, and almost our uh, time to do our... Oh! Hey Jake, welcome. Thanks for the uh, resub, 22 months. Much appreciated. Um... So, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. And we're going to get started on the, uh, the space elevator again tonight um, for the first time in many, many moons uh, to get started on phase four. So, uh, ah, yes. And thank you also, Jake, for uh, claiming first. How are you tonight? So, let's, um, let's go ahead and jump into the game, I think. And uh, before we can get to the space elevator, we need to finish up this work we were doing the last time. Uh, here on the uh, re uh, radio control unit uh, factory, we have uh, these lifts bringing materials down to feed into this. We obviously aren't using the radio control units that we're producing um, as much as we, I don't know, should? Should's the wrong word. Uh, should be, but then again, we aren't really using anything in our factory besides what we're using to, to make nuclear power right now. So the fact that this stays uh, full easily is just a matter of the fact that we're not actually using the radio control units for anything else. I think the other primary use of them was uh, supercomputers, perhaps? Uh, I can't remember. I'm doing pretty good, Jake. It's Saturday, so, you know, it's it's that. Uh, Radi... Uh, let's see, RCU. Let's see, those are being used by supercomputers. Um... and turboelectric motors, and then nuclear power. Yep. So that's it. Uh, just those, uh, those three things. So right now, most of them are being used only by nuclear because I'm pretty sure supercomputers are completely backed up as well as uh, turboelectric motors are backed up. So I think what we're gonna do is go up here and just disconnect these lifts uh, right well no back here take this belt out take this belt out and take this belt out and then the rest of those can kind of just flush down here as they need to uh let's see we did this part of it here we need to finish up down down here i think uh, we brought all this in, but we don't have belt speed measurements yet. I guess we can do that. For that, we're going to need to increase the, um, the, the numbers in the calculator spreadsheet by, or two, rather. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From, from six. So let's see, eight, eight, eight. Eight. And then we also need to increase this from 10 to 12 for the, uh, for the, uh, whatchamacallits here, uh, crystal oscillators. And that gives us enough crystal oscillators to support, uh, to support this line of radio control units. Hey, Addicted. Welcome. Good to see you. I'm... Uh, so far, I am uh, doing pretty good. It's Saturday, so, you know, it's um, better than a weekday. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that'll work. Um, now we just need to take a look at these belts. Maybe we should start up here at the, at the train station, though, in fact, uh, on the things that we have over here. So we have here uh, rubber. And we now need to have 126 plus 360 rubber, which is 486. This is a Mark IV belt, which is... <laughs> okay, we're going to start upstairs at the train station then. Because the rubber needs to be a Mark V belt now. I hope none of these items are very close uh, count uh, uh, quantity-wise, because that would get pretty ugly pretty fast. Uh, Mark V. Mark V. In terms of having to upgrade other things around the base, too, that is. This one, this one, and this one, this one, this one. 
here. Here. Excuse me. There we go. And rubber is this one. And then that can come down to here if we could poke through. Let's poke through right here. And then rubber goes here. And here. And then this line, which is the line feeding the uh, radio control units, radio control units themselves, is 360. This is a Mark III belt, which has a maximum number of three or 270. So we need to go Mark IV on these. One item at a time, we figure this out. And then, of course, we need to continue this down to the last two. Perfect. And that'll fill that uh, belt up. And then we come back down here and we need 126 on the uh, on the crystal oscillators. So that needs to be a Mark III belt because this would just not be fast enough. Here. And then this one. This one. Perfect. There. But all of the lifts are fine because, well, the recipe didn't change. Just the number of machines we have consuming the recipe changed. That goes there, and then we continue this one um, into here. This looks cheesy right now, but it's just, it's fine. Two more of those. And then we start all over again with the next item. And the next item is uh, casings. And this is the, um, but the casings come this way. They're on a Mark V belt already. So I'm assuming that they're fine there, although, oof. Aluminum casings, exactly, yes, it is. Second first, same as the first. Actually, we don't have to upgrade this one at all, because it's uh, 720. Uh, now, instead of whatever it was before, um, 540. Wait, why did I do... It's 90 times 6 before. It was 540 before, which is... No, wait, that's... that's uh, 480 is the Mark IV belt. So, this just became a fuller Mark V belt, so we shouldn't have to touch this one. But just for my own edification, I want to make sure that this is, in fact, Mark V all the way down. Um, just because if it's not, it's going to cause us problems. Well, I mean, it would cause us less and less of problems the further down the bus we get here. But we also need to um, extend this anyways. So we'll continue that on down here. Second verse, same as the first. I am Henry VIII, I am. Uh, the uh, the um, output is fine because it's 36, so we're fine with a Mark 1 belt still there. Uh, you have not consumed any of these, so we're just going to take this out. Take this out. Take this out. Take you guys out as well. You and you underneath. Uh oh Box of shame. Oh, boy. Um... Foiled again. Uh, give me a sink. I guess I could delete these. Just delete these things too. But that's no fun, right? Right. You go here. You go there. And then let's do. I don't know. Some of these. Some of those. Some of these. Wow, lots of those. Those. That'll help. Okay. I'll just let that sit there. It's fine. We may use it again anyway. Uh, box of shame. Take. There and there. 
here, 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 there. Uh, these also come back all the way to here. I'm going to leave those there. I'm going to take them apart downstairs. Uh, this is what? Circuit boards. Circuit boards, we need exactly 120. Uh, that should be fine in a Mark II belt. Should be. Um, we could squeeze a, a Mark III belt. We could put it on a Mark III belt just to be safe. That's not a bad plan to, uh, when you're right on the line, round up. Um, because of wiggle room in the way that the game calculates things. We have an autosave anyways, but I think we'll just stick with the Mark II and uh, hope. So this is where this goes. Uh, not here. That's the center. One, two. John Williams has done the scores for a bazillion things. Uh, let's do this part first. So, I mean, I didn't know specifically that he had done... Two, three, four. Uh, Jurassic Park, but his his uh, work, his name is on so many movies, so much content, um, that I'm not surprised. I'll just put it that way. All right, uh, let's see. So that's fine, because we already had it as a Mark II anyway, um, because it was more than a Mark I. But now we're exactly at a Mark II, so we shouldn't have to add any to that. A quartz crystal, we need 180 now. Uh, we already had a Mark III, so that's fine. I guess I need a lift here, though. One, two, three, four... So most savage if you get caught using it, too. Uh, what's that? Did I miss something? I don't know. Uh, and then this is um, AI limiters. And for those, we need 18. So this is a Mark 1 lift here. Good. 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 This should be able to go... This way. And then I think we're just a little bit off for this one. Um, I think we'll do it. Well, we'll see what we can do here. One, two. Yeah, we'll do it this way. You go here, and then you go there. And that gives us that. Uh, I can pop this back in there. Oh, um, well, I try not to do that with anybody's music anymore. Um, I mean, I try and, try and pay for everything these days that I can't get I mean if, if it's something I get for free legitimately then you know that's perfect but um, if it's not uh, if it's not something that's supposed to be free or that is offered to me for free in a legitimate way I just don't do it anymore yeah I know what you mean it's um I know what you mean about that. It's it's kind of a sad thing. Oh, wait, these are backwards? No, oh, these are right. Okay. Uh, it's kind of a sad thing that you can't even use it in that respect, in that manner. But, I don't know. This one, this one come out. That goes out. This one, this one come out. Uh, this comes out. Okay, and then that was one, two, uh, this one? Yeah, this one right here. And that's a return trip right there, so that one stays. Alright, so you stay Mark two. Continue that back here. Um rubber. AI, AI limiters here. Mark 1 still. You come back this way. 
And then back this way. Nope. And then wherever this comes down, we actually need to have another splitter here. Uh... I think it's right there. I think that's correct. This should connect up straight with that one. Which, by the way, we could also put this in here. And then this one... Nope, we're not in the right spot. We're totally not in the right spot. Uh, take this one out. Let's do this again. I think it goes... Here, then. And then this Mark 1 here, AI limiters, comes down. Right there. Get this out. Buddy of yours got to see John Williams perform live. Oh yeah, I, I've heard about that where they play the, um, they play the, uh, they take the score out of the movie, and they instead put in a low, uh, a, a, a live orchestra, and, um, and, I mean, obviously everything else, all the dialogue and everything is still in the movie, but they they take a, they put a live orchestra in there. All right, I need power over here in this corner. This is this is getting ridiculous here. Uh, give me this to like here. Oops. But yeah, for ten dollars, sure, I would I would definitely be up for that one. It's it's definitely a cool thing to uh, to, to 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 think about. I can't remember. Um, I didn't do it, and I wish I would have. I can't remember what it was now. Might have been Back to the Future. Um, that I heard about that being available for, and I should have done it. I totally should have done it. But I didn't. And I wish I would have. I may get another chance at some point in my life, but I may have also missed the chance. And Back to the Future score is so awesome. I mean, I don't know how they handled the, the, the music the actual, like, rock music portions, like, uh, you know, Hugh Lewis in the news, but at least for the orchestral portions of it, that would be really cool to see anyway. Alright, so that should take care of these three inputs on this end. Oh, uh, no, we didn't do this one. And now we just need to hook up the lifts. I believe... Uh, check my memory. Oh, we need to put this machine in here, too. That would work. That would work, ding-dong. There we go. Uh, copy this. Paste that. Um, so these are all... Mark 1, Mark 1, Mark 1. You saw Titanic and A New Hope at the... Well, Titanic isn't... I mean, it is, but it's not that old, that old. So, I mean... That was just, like, a special feature or something, I'm assuming, at, at the, in those years. But, um... A New Hope, yeah. I mean... I mean, you're younger than I am. I didn't... I don't... I didn't see A New Hope until I was in high school. Um, I didn't have any exposure to it. So I just didn't see it. This is what? What is this? Is this the old quartz one? Must be. There's no lift associated with it. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, these are all Mark 1s. So we do this. We do this.
And this should activate both... Oh, wait, I forgot about the power. Uh, this should activate both of those. Uh, what do I call it? Crystal oscillators. Yeah, it'd be nice if if something was like that was sustainable still. Um, I mean, they kind of came back for a minute during COVID because of, um, uh, you know, social distancing and stuff. But I knew it wouldn't last. One, one, one. Ah. I think it's two down there at the end. But, yeah, drive-ins are... It's a cool... Um, I don't know. Setting, I guess, would be the word. I mean, definitely not going to be as good of an experience in terms of the quality of the picture or the sound. But, in terms of the experience of it, yeah. Uh, wait. wait. Oh, you come this way. Right. You go there... You go here, and then you're a direct connect. Bingo. And then this is the Mark II. Yeah. There. 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 And the Mark II. There. That should do it. That one's running. This one's loaded and running. This one is still loading. Yeah, I'm hoping you're you're wrong on that one, but I I'm afraid you're right. Um, ooh, there you go, have that, because it's just the cost and the overhead and the effort and the everything and yeah the availability. It's gonna it's I mean it's already is taking a dent out of um, movie theaters, but it's just gonna make it worse. Um, I mean, COVID made it worse, too. Alright. We'll take that, please. And then I need to go find the rest of the holes that I cut. That one. And then some upstairs. One down there. And then we can go back to the train. And uh, head up to the mall for a bit, at least. Because we also need to set up our nuke novelisks. I keep forgetting about those, but we need to do that. Let's go uh, fast mode to the train. And then I'm going to delete this one and this one. Pull that one down there and go. Uh, let's also delete... Raid? Roadster, welcome. Thank you for the raid. Uh, who are you playing tonight? Planet Crafter? Let's see. Yep, yeah, Planet Crafter. How is the new content? I haven't gotten in there just yet. I'm um, hoping to. I don't need that one anymore either. I'm hoping to, actually, very soon. But I haven't been able to get in there just yet. Good. Man, I have so much uh, decoration, uh, exterior construction work to do. I just don't think I'm, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do it. 
Yeah, I definitely do it as more of an exploration game too, like like a um, a. Uh, thanks. Yeah, there's uh, there's quite a lot going on here. Each product or each group of similar products is made in one of these factory buildings, um, scattered mostly here in the northern forest and rocky desert. Uh, we're going up through the Crater Lakes where there is uh, the remnants of the, f the last phase of the space elevator, um, which we're going to actually reanimate here soon. Um, also way out there in the middle of the ocean is a uh, plastic rubber and fabric factory. Um, this is old coal power we're actually going to rip up at some point, maybe tonight. And then up here in the, um, in the red forest, um, whatever it's called, uh, that I can never remember the name of this forest, red bamboo forest, is, um, is our mall, uh, all fed by drone, and our, uh, batteries are up this way too, and then way out in the swamp, to the east is our nuclear power plant we just finished the last time. Uh, it's our hundredth stream of this uh, series, and we finished. We turned down the nuclear power plant for the first time during said stream, which is kind of cool. Oh, you haven't played this at all yet? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, I mean, I, this I've been playing this this series now since like November or something. I can't remember exactly what, what date it was I started it, but it's been a long time. Here's the mall, and beneath the mall is there is the armory. Um, we have a bit, one more thing to do here at the armory, um, and then we'll be actually good with that too. Let's turn off the train. Yeah, and they're all averaging, you know, probably about two hours. Um, so, well. Plus some offline time. But we're at 282 hours on this save right here. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. We need first to um, research the uh, the nuke knobs uh, here. Since that's the only one not completed. The final thing. We need 500 obelisks and 10 encased uh, uranium cells. Those are here. Uh... Oh, uh, that's not good. Well, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sucking on some radiation, though, so that's not great. But, oh, the novelists are right here. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. I don't have enough. Dang it. Uh, I need to drop some stuff. I need to shred some stuff or drop some stuff or something, some stuff. Uh, I don't know. Cheap stuff, I guess. A couple of stacks of iron is fine. Uh, radiation. And then this, this, go. Alright. That's the final MAM upgrade. After all of this time, we finally finished that particular task. And now we just need to hook all this up. Uh, to start with, I'm going to just hand feed these couple hundred we have in our inventory. So I stopped taking so much uh, radiation damage. Well, not damage, but what could be radiation damage. And that'll feed that. Uh, those are turning on now. We just need to run the belt down to bring those in uh, full time. And then we'll be good. Uh, we have a spot for the belt here. But I may want to bring it over. May. Uh, no, I think... Well, maybe. Well, maybe. They need to come in here. Hush. I strongly advise you Routed this specimen. way. Is that the outbound? That's the outbound. Routed this way and into that lift, maybe? Yep. Okay. Uh, we need to have 10 per minute, so we'll go mark one on that and then we're gonna go here one 
two. And then we'll come this way with it, perhaps. Uh, nope. Not exactly. Nope, let's go down all the way. To the floor. Uh, wait a minute, maybe we don't have to go all the way to the floor. Uh, there, one, two. We go to this level. Height one. This will come out this way. Some amount of distance. Just put that there to mark my spot. And then this needs to come down here. Um, okay. Couldn't see where we were. Auto save. I'm going to put this right here, uh, just one, and I'm going to attach a lift to it like this, uh, reverse that lift, and bring it up to somewhere in this neighborhood, but that might not be the right neighborhood. Ooh, I think it is the right neighborhood. And then we're going to take that lift down right there. And then hope that this is level and straight. Level it is. Straight it is. And that'll come down here. Uh, those can come out. I just don't. I only use those as a measuring tool. There. This will come out. There's only temporary to give me the position of hanging onto the edge of the thing here. Harvest. Oh hush. And then we'll do this out to here. Can I come this far? Oh, yeah. Okay. The uh, stuck key thing again. There we go. One, two. Take this out. And that goes in there. And that should do it. Not getting a smokeless powder here? Why not? Which one of these is supposed to be smokeless powder? AI limiters, that's the knobs, or the nukes, that's smokeless powder, number one. Number one. Why is smokeless powder coming so slowly? Uh, we're not making any. That's why. Shimmy up this way. Let's see why we're not making it. Black powder is out. How is that possible? That might be a little too close there. How did we... How did we run out of black powder? Uh, we don't have any black powder either. I guess we need to go check that out. There's none in here. And that makes you this one? Yeah. Okay, I guess we need to go investigate that once we get this... Make sure this thing is working. You're accumulating. That's all I'm worried about. Okay. So, yeah, let's go check out what's going on with black powder. Uh, nope. 
But that takes care of the uh, nuke knobs, anyway. I have a few things I can shred here. Uh, these. Those. These. Saw one more. What did I see? This one? And... We have nuke knobs coming to the storage, which is all I'm worried about for that as well. You'll grab a couple more stacks of iron plate, since I dismantled or shredded a couple stacks. And then we'll head down to the uh, black powder factory. I think we'll cheat fly down there, though. Rather than spending the time to drive the train. Black powder's back now. Is it just not fast enough? Oh, too far. Too far. It's right here. I forgot I did the style a little differently on this one. It's not producing that much. How much are we supposed to be producing of this? Spreadsheet? Thirty. And I bet you that we're drawing way more than that for the mall. But because I didn't really intend for the mall to be counted, that's the actual problem. But let's make sure these are full. They are indeed. Uh, we could probably double this without much problem. But that's the problem, is that we have... Um, we have not enough production of black powder to make enough uh, of the other things. But do I really care? Um, not really. Because that mall's going to back up anyway. I mean, it hasn't yet. After all the work that it's been running since we last edited it. But I don't really care. It's it'll happen when it happens. Um, we're not going to use a whole bin of of novelists, let alone each type of novelist, and uh, rifle ammo for that matter. So I'm not that bothered by it. Uh, I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, so let's take a look at some of these recipes for the space elevator phase four. Uh, let's put down a bit of a platform here just to work on. Maybe just like here. Up here at the mall, this would just be like a test bed. I'm going to leave myself in cheat flight mode, but I'm going to slow the speed down here to medium. Um, and then I would like to... Um, I'd like to look at these recipes. So... We have... Uh, the first thing is... Um, well, I actually can't tell what these are. Uh, we'd have to be at the elevator to see, but I can look online... And see that those are called... The first one's called Assembly Director System. There is one recipe for them. Add an assembler. Yes, that's... Uh, John Williams' son is lead singer for Toto. I would have had no idea one way or the other. So, assembler for the uh, Assembly Director Systems. That... Makes 0.75. And then the next one is magnetic field generator. Those are made in manufacturer. Honestly, I don't know if I could name it a Toto song. Magnetic field generator. Those make one per minute. We're just going to establish ratios real quick here. Um, the next thing is thermal propulsion rockets. Those are also made in a manufacturer. 
I'm not going to do the snappy method there. Here. Thermal propulsion rockets. One per minute. And finally, nuclear pasta. Which is made in a particle accelerator. Which is my favorite building in the game. And uh, it's here. And it makes a half a per net. So let's look at ratios here. This one is, we need 4,000 of them and 0.75. This one we need 4,000 of and it's one per minute. This one we need uh, two th or 1,000 of and it's one per minute. And this one we need 1,000 of and it's a half per minute. So if we said that we wanted to make one of these per minute, then that means we need two of these. Uh... Oh, okay. Yep, I do know the first and third at least then. Uh, so if we wanted to make one per minute of these, uh, we need two of them. Where's my notepad at? There it is. Uh to um what is this building called particle accelerator um let's see one nuclear pasta two particle accelerators and then um one per minute of these because we need a thousand so that's um, uh, one TPR. Yeah, I had, but had no no idea. I and like I said, I wouldn't have even known their songs without looking it up. Uh, one TPR is one manufacturer. And then we're gonna do four of these. Uh, four MFG is four manufacturers which is a lot but that's fine and then um, this is going to be a weird number uh, we want to have four ADS and uh, four divided by 0.75 is 5.33 manufacturers okay so that's the first tier for all of these now the second tier adaptive control units and supercomputers uh, supercomputers we're going to fly in probably via drone since we have the drone system now we probably won't do the train part anymore besides the fact that drones are much tighter uh, to fit um, and we probably need to condense some space over in the uh, crater lakes there if we're going to do it there uh, adaptive control units uh, so if we're going to do five and a third of these these are made in a manufacturer uh, at one per minute so we need 5.33 times one and a half. So basically what, 10.67? No, we need to have, um, four, we need to have eight per minute of these. Uh, so eight ACU. Because if we're making four of these, we need to have eight of these because it's double. Uh, eight ACU is um, manufacturer. Uh, circuit boards, heavy metal frames, and computers all can be flown in. Eight ACU is eight manufacturers, though. Oof. 
and those are going to need automated wiring. Uh, we have two choices for this recipe. <laughs> I think we could do... We have everything to do the, the alternate recipe there. So I think we could do that. Uh, that's also producing at three times the rate. Uh, if we need to have eight of these, that means we need to have eight times seven and a half of these. So anything we can do to speed that up would be grand. Um, oh, and that's a one-to-one -one with the alternate recipe. Yeah. So we need eight times seven and a half, which is 60. Holy crap. 60 AW, which is eight manufacturers worth of those. Holy crap. Uh, let's put that down. This one? Uh, eight. So we need half as many, so 30 staters. A ridiculous amount of wire. 8 times 75, which is 600 wire. We've got it, so I'm not worried about it, but that's a ridiculous amount of wire. Uh, we might want to put a drone station out at the other copper place, though. Might. Uh, and then 8, so about 16 high-speed connectors. How many of those are we making? Not counting how many we're using. Uh, well, we have a surplus right now of those of zero. Perfect. Hmm. Where did I make the high speed connectors at? Oh, they're in the same factory as um, ECRs. That's why. That's why. Yeah. Uh, we're making 24. And we're going to need to have 15. As long as we're not using a lot of electromagnetic control rods, we're fine. The problem is the electromagnetic control rods are used for nuclear. <laughs> we may have to make some more uh, high-speed connectors someplace. Either at that place or elsewhere. Uh, we can take a look at that. Uh, let me get my notes. I just buried my notes there. Okay. So, um, HSC question mark. Everything else is fine. And that gets us down to uh, drone level materials at all levels. So now we'll move on to the next thing, which is uh, magnetic field generators. They need electromagnetic control rods. Uh, we're going to need to make four of these. So we're going to need to have four of these. That's not bad. Uh, we currently have a surplus of 8.8. .8. So that's good. But we're, we're definitely going to make some more um, high-speed connectors. That's for darn sure. Now I lost my place again. Lost, lost, lost. There, there. Uh, so, yeah. Um, that's fine. Batteries, I'm fine with. Um, we're going to have to figure out a way to drone them in. Because, well, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I probably could have done better than I did with these. I and mean, we can actually test it with this, but we should be able to do it just fine. And then versatile frameworks. Uh, so if we need four of these, it means we need to have 10 VF, which are made at either an assembler or a manufacturer. Um, why don't we just do the basic recipe? It uses more steel, but it doesn't use the rubber, so we can do it in an assembler. Uh, we're going to have four manufacturers here. Um, and it would be a weird number if I did the manufacturer recipe. So I think just doing two assembler recipes would be perfectly fine. So let's do the assembler recipe for that. Uh, so we need to have, it looks like, uh, two assemblers of those.
Come on. Here we are. Do, 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 do. Versatile framework. Yeah, 30 times two steel beams per minute. Uh, do, do, do. Steel beams, we have 150 surplus. We're fine. Uh, so that's going to be two uh, assemblers. And I did something weird. Oh, I just labeled it wrong. I labeled this as manufacturers when it's assemblers. Oopsie. Two assemblers for this, versatile frameworks. And then that's raw ingredients, so we don't have to go any deeper than that, which is kind of weird if you think about it. Like, this one has three tiers. This one only has two, well, it's only two one tier difference, I guess. Uh, the next thing is uh, thermal propulsion rockets. Uh, they'll need the modular engines. We have turbo motors. Uh, we need to make one of these, so that's one turbo motor, we should be fine. Uh, cooling systems, though, on the other hand, is going to be a little bit tougher, because we're going to need to have three cooling systems. Uh, cooling systems. We have one and a half. Technically, we should make more of those. We can probably get by without it. We probably have a surplus. Um, and then fused modular frames. Uh, we have 3.75 of those. We're fine there. And turbo motors, we have four of those so we're fine there uh two and a half modular engines auto save come on finish oops punch the microphone sorry about that two and a half modular engines per minute means that we need to have two and a half manufacturers for them Did I miss it? Yep. Modular engine. Yeah, two and a half of these. Oops. 2.5 modular engines in 2.5 manufacturers. Okay, uh, they're going to need to have five smart plating. I think I'm just going to do the standard recipe there because that's a one to one with the manufacturers versus uh, we could do well, we could do one manufacturer, but it requires bringing in plastic. So far, I don't think I've seen plastic anywhere else. So why don't we just do that? And then we don't have to do any splitting of that. Otherwise, we have to split it three ways. Which isn't a bad thing, I guess. But um, we also have to bring in plastic. And unless we have to bring in plastic, I'd rather not. So that's a... Because uh, one less thing is one less thing, you know? So let's do this here. That's uh, smart plating. And we needed five. Two and a half times two is five. Yep. So it's this here. Five smart plating, and that's in two and a half assemblers. Reinforced iron plates and rotors. We can fly those in. We should have enough of a surplus of both of them that I don't have to worry about it. And then finally, this one, we need to have two. Uh, two of these. Um, whatever these things are called that I keep forgetting the name. Particle accelerators. That needs a bunch of copper uh, ingots, which we happen to have available. We just need to set up a drone port for them. Or we could do it by train. Um, I don't know how much yet. And then pressure conversion cubes. So copper powder. Uh, we need 100. We need 200 copper powder per minute. That's made in a what? Since I didn't look. Constructor. Okay, good. I forgot we actually need the constructors for one of these things. I will put it right over there in the center. 
for weird reasons. Uh, copper powder is here. 200 of this is four of these. 200 copper powder is four uh, constructors. Four constructors is holy crap. That's a lot of copper. That's a lot of copper. I don't have that much copper. Not with still running aluminum. That's 1,200 copper per minute. Holy crap. I had to figure that out. I forgot about that recipe being such a hassle. And then... Um, So maybe we want to make the copper powder someplace and ship it in, given that it's a six to one ratio. Yeah. Yep. All right. Oof. And then uh, one PCC. So two PCC, or one PCC, because it's a half to a half. So one PCC. Uh, those are made in assembler. We just learned how to make those out at the, uh, whatchamacallit, out the new new plant and those are going to require more radio control units I missed them they're there and fuse modular frames uh, that's one assembler right oh we'll be fine we'll be fine radio control units we have um Six surplus now, and fuse modular frames we had like uh, 3.75, so we should be okay there too, I think. So we really need to figure out the copper situation, and then the high-speed connector situation for this. And that was it, right? For this, yeah, that's everything there. So that's what we're gonna need. A lot of these, um, a lot of things here. Uh, let's see, two of these. Uh, four of those, but those four will probably be elsewhere in the factory where we actually mine the copper and, and smelt it. Um, one of those, one of these, two and a half of these, two and a half of those, four of these, two of those, 5.33 of these, eight of those. Eight of those. That's impressive. So we need to probably boost our high-speed connectors by making about 15 per minute of those, uh, which means we need five more manufacturers of them someplace. Let's go into fast cheat flight again and uh, go take a look at where we're making the high-speed connectors at now and see if we can in any way fit in five more manufacturers of these things. Uh, Maybe. Uh, maybe. What if... What if we set them up... We can't afford this. Why can't I afford this? Cable. What if I set them up like this? It's a little crazed. Um, it would have to be somewhere like this. But we could fit in one, two, three, four... We can fit in four. Okay, how much further down can we go this way? Uh, maybe a little. Maybe a little. That's there. Do, do, do. Oh, this is where the ECR is coming out. Okay. So I really could barely fit in four here. I might have to be a little creative even to do that. Uh, if we came over here now... I couldn't even fit one more in here without having to change a bunch of stuff. Because of the way I have this set up so, that's not going to work. And if I add 
15 more high-speed connectors into the uh, factory. What does that break as far as everything else? Quick wire. Five times 90 is 450. We're fine there. Ooh, I'm overdrawing my circuit boards. Crap. Um, with the change to radio control units. Uh, silica, that could be a problem. Five times that is, we'll call it 200, even though it's not quite. Minerals, silica, we're okay there. Uh, but circuit boards, we're not okay on already. And it's only going to get worse. Oh, aluminum casings we're overdrawing on, too. How are we overdrawing on aluminum casings? Wow. Wasn't expecting that. We have more upgrades to do. Circuit boards and aluminum casings. Uh, this is going to be another 15 circuit boards, too. So we need to produce another 36 and a half circuit boards and 120 aluminum casings. Let's go. Oops, that hurt. Let's go take a look at circuit boards here. I believe this was going to be a problem to expand anymore. Oops, I screwed that up. Uh, circuit boards were these. Yeah, not without changing the factory, we don't. Thirty-six and a half more circuit boards. Once the autosave finishes. Means... One, two... Actually, it's only three more assemblers. It's not as bad as I feared. Um, we can actually push the factory out this way. Another, um, like four foundations or so. Uh, we'd have to extend this floor as well pass those things down. We don't have to move that one. That can stay where it is. We just have to move the copper sheets and the um, the silica. But that's going to also require more silica. Um, we're already kicking it up by 200. Let's say four more of these would be another um, almost 120. What do we have for silica again? Oh, okay. We're fine. We were by 200, so yeah, we're still fine in silica. Okay, so we could do that. We could push this out by four more foundations or so. Actually, it's not even that many. It's really only... One and a quarter... Three more foundations. Silica moves, copper moves, uh, um, quick wire stays where it is. Hey, uh, Jess Uwu, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping in. Did you come over with um, with Roadster, or did you guys see your first chat is? Good night. Um, yeah, I think we could do this part. I think that'd be fine. Hey, yeah, together. Welcome. Hmm. It. it how many times it took you to find the satisfactory category? Oh. Uh, well. Um. Welcome. 
this is our this is our base here. We're kind of in the I don't know final-ish stages of it. I'm just looking at what it's going to take to start setting up the uh, the space elevator components. Um, and that's going to require some expansion of a couple of factories here, notably the the uh, circuit boards here, high speed connectors that are currently here uh, elsewhere somewhere, and then. Um, Which I don't even know where where I would put them. That's the crazy part, because I could even do something back here, but we're a little too close to the ground here too. This this ground just rises up to meet us too fast. So we're definitely gonna have to deal with that. Um, copper sheets, I think we're fine on. We have five hundred and thirty surplus copper sheets. So we're fine there. It's like a few sticks are part of dinosaurs, yeah. Um, so yeah, this is our base here. We're in the northern forest. Um, uh, each one of these factories buildings is making one or more similar items. Um, so here we had uh, electromagnetic control rods, but they need high-speed connectors. So those are there. Uh, here we had circuits, circuit boards, and um, AI limiters because they use some similar items. Uh, here we have uh, all kind of the basics. Iron plates, iron rods, copper, uh, and then concrete on the end. Those are made in this factory. Concrete's made in that little one. That's our Fixmas factory from last December. We've been playing this this save since last November. Uh, last stream was the hundredth stream of this series. Uh, this is all quick wire here. Um, those are computers over there. Uh, then the base continues out here into the rocky desert. Again, each each factory building making one or few things uh, if they're similar enough way out there we have our oil processing which is uh making plastic rubber and fabric supercomputers and uh something else was here uh cooling systems i think maybe this is steel um up here is our old uh phase three space elevator stuff that we're going to tear apart and make it do a phase four uh using drones Let's see. Out here we have aluminum. Uh, there's more copper there, which we need to put up some drones there. Uh, we have fused modular frames. We have turbo motors. We're mining some cutarium here. Here we're making radio control units. We're mining some iron here for steel. Uh, then we have way up here on the hill, up in the bamboo forest, our mall and armory. Batteries over there. And then way, way over there in the swamp is our nuclear power that we just finished last stream. So we have some stuff spread out here. This is a uh, battery build that we're actually not using. I need to clean it up at some point, probably. Right, or maybe just destroy it. Um, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's, that's the factory. Um, just a little bit. Most everything is train-fed. Uh, 280 something, 283. So, yeah, I have three different spirals add together. I have uh, this one here, which is coaxial. Uh, the inner loop is up, the outer loop is down. I have this one over here, which is, um, I guess a screwdrive or something like that, uh, where they they mirror each other. Um, so up on the right and then down on the left. And then the third one is way over here. And this one is, um, uh, what's it called? Um, what's the term? Why did it just slip my mind? What's the spiral of DNA called? Double helix. This one's a double helix where uh, they are, they're twisting together around. 
Um, so uh, I have three different styles. And thank you for the follow, uh, Jesuo. Much appreciated. Um, so, and then here's uh, some uh, fuel power uh, made from oil. And they're here above the, um, the uh, aluminum factory. So we're going to have to mine some more copper to get this stuff set up. Um, we should probably look at where we might be able to find that. Uh, we're going to have to s set up some new circuits. That's not a problem. We're going to have to set up some new high-speed connectors. That's a little bit more of a problem. Man. That's a toughie. What do we do about that? Can I go this way with him? No, because I have this drone port. Well, I mean, I could if this tree and stuff wasn't here. Whatever this crap is. It's not a tree, but these, uh, these fake metal and concrete tentacles uh, weren't here. Um, what else to do to make that work? That's the tough part. The only other thing I could think to do would be to take it out this way. Ooh, that might work. What if I added, how many more do we need? Five? Huh. What if I added a double row of them coming out this way and I put like six in? Would that do it? I don't have the cable, but these are... Let me make this like an L-shaped building instead. Uh, these are going to be two and a quarter foundations. I could start as close as that, I think, and I could probably, probably would want to push it back a little bit, but start as close to those as that. Uh, so two and a quarter times three. Autosave. Dang it. Always when I want to do something. Well, that's probably because I'm always doing something. Um, okay, so if we did... Let me switch, uh, switch flight modes here. There we go. Uh, let's see, here. If we did something like this, then the other one would be something like this, which would be fine. It would fit. Uh, kind of barely, but at this point, I'm 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 over it. <laughs> uh, so we need eight foundations plus a two foundation buffer. We'll say one, two, three, four. We don't have to stick out another six foundations out, and then I think we could fit it in here. I think we could give it the old college try anyway. Is there any reason why we can't do it here? Speed of belts, perhaps? Uh, get back in there. This is... Quickwire is going to be a problem. Quickwire will definitely be a problem, because we have right now... Um... Yeah, we're already bringing in 720. Adding six more would, uh... Would almost double that. We're just gonna have to build these in another building. That's really the only solution to this. I just wish that... Because I can't bring... I mean, I... Yeah, I can't bring in much more than 720. Uh, I can bring in 780 of anything in one station because of the belt. Um, you could do a little bit more. I think you could probably guarantee yourself somewhere in, uh, somewhere more than that, maybe 1080 or so, but not a whole lot, and it still wouldn't be enough. So we're going to have to do another, another building. Man, I was hoping to not have to do that. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. All right. Well, let's find a site for that. Um, 
because that's going to be the biggest impact right now. Quick wire, silica, and circuit boards. Uh, quick wire is there. Silica is over there. And circuit boards are right here, which is why these are here, because you can see why. Uh, these are all close together. Here's the other idea. Ooh, this might be a better idea yet. We only need these. We only need these for this for the space elevator. Why not just build them there? That was stupid. <laughs> just build them wherever we build this factory at. Uh, therefore, this one. Uh, we need to have eight of these, right? That would save some trouble, yeah. Well, it doesn't save a lot of trouble. We still need to upgrade circuits. Um, but it would save a lot of trouble in terms of having to build a new building for this that's only temporary. And we need 8 times 1.875, which is 15. Uh, so that means we need to have, as previously stated, several times, I don't have any freaking cable. Cable, cable, cable. Not that. Not that either. Here we go. That was kind of stupid, wasn't it? Uh, five of these to get 15. Yeah, let's just do that. All right, so uh, high-speed connectors. Uh, we need to have um, 15, which is five manufacturers. All right, so we still need to upgrade the circuit boards anyway because we don't have enough being made. Silica we're fine on. Quickwire we're fine on. Um, yeah. All right, that's a much better solution. Good good idea, Jake. Uh, let's see. So let's go upgrade this circuit board factory then, I think. Or at least attempt to. Uh, they're here. Back in there. I'm just gonna take this wall out. <laughs> Glad you thought of it. Alright. Let's see. I can take it out from here all the way to the corner. Yeah. I wanna do this whole bit. Or I could just extend the whole thing. Either way, I gotta take this wall out. Let's do it from the outside, that way I don't accidentally hit that uh, hit those lifts. Uh, this all has to come out, though. This thing all the way up to there needs to come out. Extend this whole building by four foundations. The whole dang thing. That's it. That's all I can dismantle in one swipe. This is, um... Yeah. Oh, no. Except that you... Dummy, you left that one open. <laughs> there. focused on not messing up. It's a good thing to be focused on. Technically, I don't need that corner bead anymore either. There's not a corner anymore. Okay. Uh, let's make sure that four is going to be enough, in fact. Uh, let's do it here. Uh, let's do it here. Four foundations. Back by... I'm running out of plastic, too. Two of you. Actually, let's just go with three foundations. I need to go get some supplies, though. Uh, 
what else do I need? Some concrete, maybe. That'll probably be enough. Just some concrete. Maybe not. We'll just fly back, if not. That should probably do it, though. We don't need that much. We're not building that much more. Hey, red eyed sniper. Welcome. Oh, we need to blow some stuff up first. Nope. Blow some stuff up. You came just in time. We're having a blast. So, last time we finished... You were here, I think, last time, right? We finished up the um, nuclear plant. And then we went to work on a radio control unit factory. Uh, we finished that up first thing. And then we started looking at what we are going to need to do for the uh, space elevator. Well, it turns out that upgrading re radio control units forced us to... Um, go over on our circuit production here so now we're boosting that or next we're boosting that and we're boosting it by enough to compensate for the space elevator as well and then um and then uh, careful careful straw hat time okay and then uh we've so in order to Provide enough for the space elevator, and then we and then we hum, hemmed and hawed because uh, we need 15 high-speed connectors for the rate of the space elevator production that we want, which is still going to be a thousand seconds to produce. So you do the math on that. That's what 20 minutes ish. Um. So um. Which actually, wait a minute, 1,000 seconds? No, 1,000 minutes. 1,000 minutes. That's 20 hours. Oh boy. There's somebody letting this thing run off camera. 1,000 divided by 60 is 16 hours, yeah. Once we get this thing set up, we're going to be letting it run off camera. Um, or we can go run and do some uh, decoration and wall work. Factory completion. But still, I'll let it run off camera because 16 hours is 8 streams. So, yeah, I'm going to let it run off camera. Some. But, uh. So, we have a couple of upgrades we need to do. We also need to look at aluminum. Where am I at here? Because we're underproducing aluminum casings as well by 120 per minute. So we're going to figure out what's up with that or what, what we can do about that. Uh, so these need to come out to here. Now. And these need to come out to... Hey, the city rat. Welcome. Thank you for the raid. How are you this evening? This goes here. I'm not going to bother moving the quick wire. Satisfactory as well. Nice. Uh, how? Where are you at in the game? How have you? Um, how have you been? Uh, how is how? How far are you in the game? And where are you at as far as uh, production? There. And that one is... There, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna poke through here, though, because I don't know that I can... ...really see... Very well. Oh, you started from scratch at update six. Okay. This base has been going for um, probably. Actually, we could tell how how long. 
about, probably about uh, nine months now. A um, little more than nine months now. Almost ten months now. October 26th is when we started it. Uh, 238, 283, dyslexia, hours in. Um, and we're near the end. Uh, the only major task we have left is uh, Space Elevator Phase 4. But we're doing a little bit of upgrades before we can turn that on. So, a little bit of work, and then we'll, we'll be uh, we'll be good to go for that. Or, or sorry, before we can set that up, we're doing some upgrades. Because I didn't do the math on everything for the whole factory ahead of time. And in some cases, it's good I didn't, because they tweaked a couple of recipes, so... You just deleted everything instead of starting from zero. Yeah. It's understandable. I would have a hard time, again, um, doing that anyway. Myself, anyways. I can definitely sympathize. It would be a massive, massive... Oh, is this going to be all right? Uh, we better check. We may have to add another foundation. Let's, let's go check. Oops. You can do mods on dedicated servers, can't you? Or no? Maybe you can't. Uh, let's see. You're here. Oh wait, we were already extending, because we added this here, we were already extending into the danger zone anyway here. Yeah, so we're fine, we're fine. Oh, they don't mind working on a server yet. I haven't, honestly, I haven't tried. We we set up a dedicated server um, back when they were first viable. And thank you for the follow as well. Uh, back when they were first viable, we set up a dedicated server for uh, Caladorn's community. Um, I only I didn't really play on it. I just went on it to make sure administratively it was working fine, um, and uh, I didn't really play on it. But a bunch of folks did, and it was pretty stable um, for them. But uh, I haven't been on it since since then. These are all Mark One inputs. That's fine. And then, uh, these are the outputs. We've already expanded this once. And now we're doing it again. That's, yeah, if you have your own lab, that's really nice to, to be able to do a dedicated server. I find it ironic that we're expanding these circuits, and I need to move that one, but I need to move this first. We're expanding these circuits here, um, but they're all frozen. Like, we're not using them at all. <laughs> oh, sweet irony. Uh, wait a minute. This might not be good. Uh, let's double check here. Uh, circuits... Yeah, limiters and circuits. We're going up to... Uh, how many do we add? Four more? Wait, was that how many we were supposed to add was four more? Yeah, we needed 36. So this will add more than that. This will add 50. Tonight was your third stream? Nice. Yeah, tonight is my... I don't know how many streams. Uh, this is episode 101, stream 101 of this series. Um, but... Um, I've streamed for three years in a bit. All right, so we're adding four more. That's 18. Double check the count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times two is 18. Math, that's what's for dinner. Do, uh, do, 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 do. Eight. Eight. Eighteen. Uh, copper sheets. 
6.45. We're still safe, folks. That's good. Poof. That could have been really bad if that wasn't going to work out. Can we go bad? Your raid... Got your just raid and kind of froze for a couple minutes. I don't know. I'm missing something there. Uh, this needs to be upgraded to a Mark V, though. It's 495. Oh, your first raid. Oh, yeah. That's uh, that's definitely a um, three, four. That's definitely a f uh, a fun first. Um, I can I can sympathize with you on that one. Uh, I like I said, I've been doing this for three years, but. You know, way back when, um, it was definitely an impact. Uh, to get to, to get that first raid. This comes out adrenaline, yeah, exactly. Uh, but you know, it's funny when I first started streaming. Um, I just kind of did it on a whim, I guess. Is the least weird way to put it. Um, is that a mark? Yeah, it's mark four. Okay. Um, but I I did it just to um, demonstrate something. Uh, at the time, it was uh, demonstrating making uh, Factorio builds at a certain um, uh, uh, science per minute level. And I really didn't have any plans to do anything other than that at the time. But I was already hooked after the first few streams. So I definitely can uh, can sympathize. All right, so these are both Mark V lists. That makes my life a little bit easier. Delete that, please. Delete that, please. Delete that. Delete this. And then we'll go this way. I have to figure out what I'm going to do about a roof here or something. This comes out next. Machine chatting with total eclipse. It's billets, it's bits in old Canuck. Yeah, that's kind of how I got started too. Um, I've, I'm a long, long-term moderator and uh, admin for Catherine Sky and Caladorn, and uh, um, kind of got my start that way. This will pass down here. This will pass down here. Now we have to recreate this insanity. Well, it's not really insanity, but uh, let's see. That lift came down, so this is in front of this lift. Here. Haha. <laughs> Lined it up right. Okay, so it's up here on this level. Alright, have a good night. Thanks for the raid. And uh hope we see you again. Um yeah, have a good sleep. This one is coming out right here on level three. I think I'm here and here. Yeah. And then we'll do this. Take those two out. Wait, didn't I delete that lift? I thought I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, you? There. 
And uh, you. No, that's not how it goes. There. Delete this. And then. Okay. This is here. The same thing in this end. This here. And then this here. No, that's further out. That's out here somewhere. There? Yeah. All right. So let's see. You come out. 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 You... You, you, both of these for that matter. So what we've got marked. These come out, that comes out. You can stay there, we're not moving you. And these two come out. This one starts... Here. Correct. Measure twice, cut once. Space of six. I should have left that there. Snap. Uh, that might be right, though. Yep, it is. Space of six. These belts are nine times twenty-seven and a half. Oops. Nine times twenty-seven and a half. It's two forty-seven and a half. So that's a mark three. Currently have mark threes here, so we're good. I love when a plan comes together. That comes from there. That should be feeding me copper now. Delicious. And then you come to here and into there. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here. Bingo. That's one line. Duck. Same thing goes for this side. I don't need that. And then this one's gonna go here. Let's put it there now. Two of you. Six spaces. Delete, delete. Two of these. Six spaces. This and that. And this one for that matter. Mark three. Here. Here. And then I think I have this one coming through here. That should get these all started again. And these started for the first time. And then finally, we need to do this one, which is also a Mark III, I think. Uh, yeah, also a Mark III. 
And that comes out the other side of this one. Comes down this way. Please. I see it. There it is. And then it goes into there. And then we just need to do outputs for these new ones. Uh, that goes away. I never hooked this up. Oops. Oops. Is that you? It is. It is you. It is you. And then we can do this one. Spacing of six. What happened? Did I accidentally... Oh, I mis misaligned it. Oh, I see why. So there's sneaky business going on here. Check the alignment. So you don't screw it up again, Wally. And then do that. And six. Delete, delete, delete. This is here. And here. And then this whole thing produces some number of circuit boards. That number is... 225. So Mark III Bells is fine here, and I think that's what we have anyway. It is. Excellent. There and there. Alright, those four are all green. The other ones are yellow, but I'm not surprised. I think I'm going to add one more row of foundation here, just to make this look a little bit better. Um, ten? Ten. And ten. And then let's, let's just do some walls kind of quickly here. We need to switch our color to this swatch. Uh, zoop these. Zooper, thanks for asking. Auto safe. I can fly over here because I can get power from the rails. It's handy. Sneaky, sneaky. See, I can do that. Then I'm kind of stuck right here. Although maybe I don't want to do that if I want to maybe put a sloped roof in here or something. So let's not do that just right this moment. Not you, please. Maybe not even those right now. Let's take these out, too? No, leave those in there. Uh, let's look at the roofs. Architecture. Let's do the one meter roof. Can I do this under, though? By chance? No, of course not. Uh, that should be fine to come out by two. If I can wedge this under, though, that might be even better. Uh, let's do... This swatch for a moment. There. For these, it doesn't matter. I can do this and that. But I should switch it back to this one. And then if I do this... Oops, too much. I think I'm in a good place here, then. Ten of these. Because I think then I can just do this one. 
Yes. I like it. So, we're going to want to do these here. Uh, not that one. Just those two. This will be here. How would you get back to not zooping? That there. And then... Nope. Uh, walls. Ramp wall one meter. There we go. And there. I think that looks good. What do you guys think? I think that fits well. With the architecture. R for zoop. Bunch of those. Nine. Nine. Okay. And it, you know, it clears the clipping on the, uh, whatchamacallit's there, so that's really good. On the, on the lifts. Um, this is gonna be a little bit tougher to accomplish. These go here. This one goes here. Maybe I can do something like this. And that. Yes. Take that back out again. Turn that one in there. One meter wall. Boom, and boom. Uh, we'll do a corner bead on these later. Uh, so let's continue this here. Uh, zoop, please. Oops. There. There. Every time I switch to the uh, to the glass, it cuts out the zooping on these. It's probably smart doing it. Not that smart. Ten. Uh, yep, I'm sure it's smart doing it. Could have done that last time, save myself some headache. There. Don't fall. didn't do this top row of, yeah, nine, because I did one, a few of those, and I did that one. I think that's all the green. Switch to mauve, put in those walls. It actually kind of goes pretty fast once I get started on it. It's just the um, the tedium of it that I don't like. I know that sounds bad, but... 
the repetitive of it, it just, it, it'll, it'll wear on my, you know, brain or whatever. Uh, whatever you call that thing. Uh, after a little while. Let me do a quarter, corner beads. Uh, this one, I think, will start here. Yeah, that looks good. And we'll go all the way down to there, which is 32 meters. That looks right to me. Yep, that's right. Then we'll do the other one over here. And unless I'm forgetting something, which I don't think I am, Two meters. That takes care of the exterior of this factory. Uh, I'll go ahead and put that all the way over there. I don't really know what my plan was for those. I never really had one. But that's fine. Switch back to the factory swatch. That way I don't forget. And I think that's it for this factory. So now we need to go over and take a look at aluminum. We need to try and squeeze another 120 casings out of this. I don't know that we can do that. Casings are these ones, I think. These are the uh, yeah, aluminum sheets. The only way to squeeze more casings out of this is to make less aluminum sheets. Uh, what do we have available for these? We do have 150 sheets available. Um, which I think is all of them. 30 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which means we have... 150 ingots, aluminum ingots, and 50 copper ingots available. Uh, which means we could make another 112 and a half. If we made no aluminum sheets. That is a problem. Also, what the heck? Oh, that's that's the sheets. That's the alkaline sheets. That's sort of fine. Why are you stuck? You're not getting enough aluminum? Neither are you. Hmm. Not getting enough scrap? You're not getting enough alumina. Even though the pipe's friggin' full. There's only 13 in the pipe, but still. This is squeezing out as fast as it can. Auto safe. Hmm. What can we do about this? One idea would be to make just enough of whatever more to, to uh, add another two lines. Oh, somebody left an opening here. Um, to add two more rows of everything. The problem is that's going to throw off the balance, I think, of everything. So that means reworking a lot of the math. Uh, we could definitely upgrade the bauxite miners to Mark III. Uh, we definitely would need more water, uh, but yeah, because this is balanced kind of semi-perfectly to where um, we have 10 of these, I think. Ah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 of these, so they're outputting 1,050 uh, water per minute. And then we have here... Um, them connected to seven of these. Seven times 150 is 1,050. And then we have 
um, another 450 water being piped in to th select three refineries here. Uh, basically the three you see this, this pipe connected to up here. Um, so the problem is that's a kind of a perfect ratio. And the only real solution to this other than that is to build a whole nother one of these. Ugh. That just sounds painful. Um, yeah. But for multiple reasons, we'd have to do that. I mean, you could definitely cut this in half and be okay, because you could, you know, do half refineries or whatever. Um, and balance it, I assume. If you did it just right. Um, you'd have to have... So you'd have to have, like, the return pipe output from five connected to three and then one clocked at a half speed. And then you'd have to have the the source pipe from the new stuff uh, connected to one and then a, th then a second one at half speed. So you ended up with six of these... Uh, three plus one at half, and then one plus one at half, instead of five. Then you could do five rows of this, and then five rows of those. Could do that. That would require how much more bauxite? Let's look at aluminum. Currently bringing in 1500, so that would require another 750 bauxite. If we went up to Mark 3, could we do it? Could we even do it? Here. I mean, we could do it elsewhere for sure. Uh, let's see, we're doing Mark 2 at full speed 600, 600, and 300. We could get up to 12. Oh, we can't get 12. Uh, we could get up to 780. Oh, we don't need to go that high. We need to go... We need to take the 600s... Hmm. We need an extra 750. I could get 300 more. Oops. This can go anyway, because we're going to sign off here in a minute. Ugh. Um, we could get 300 more out of the out of the normal if we went to Mark III. Um, so that takes care of 300 of that 750. So we need to get 450, so that's 225. We couldn't do it here. Couldn't do it here. We would need 825 out of each of those um, pure nodes, and we can only get 780 out of them max because of the belt speed limit. So, that means we would have to build a whole other bauxite refinery somewhere else. No matter what we do. Oh dear. And that was several streams. Alright, have a, have a good one. Uh, have a good day, uh, add together. Thanks for popping in. We're actually going to sign off here in a minute anyway, so you, your timing is good. Um, but yeah, so we'd have to build a whole new aluminum refinery in order to make enough uh, casings for what we're actually consuming right now, which is not good. Uh, but we have to do it if we're going to make this factory be right to what we are um, aiming for here. We have to do it. So... Um, we're gonna have to plan that for next time, though, because, like I said, we're signing off here in a minute. Um, which means we'll have to figure out a spot for it somewhere up in the bamboo forest. Uh, maybe somewhere near the mall or the uh, battery factory. Um, there's, there's bauxite all around there. I mean, we are using a little bit of bauxite from that area for batteries, but there's plenty around, so we could probably pull it off easily enough. Um, maybe some, maybe in between the mall and the batteries. Uh, somewhere in that area, but we're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to set up another one of these uh, more or less exactly like this We like I said we could cut it in half, but at that point does it really matter? Um, why don't we just do it? 
uh, just do it right. So let's um, let's wrap up for now. Let's find ourselves. Well, actually, we don't have to find ourselves a raid target. We are going to be raiding Aussie Nuts. He is doing a 24-hour charity stream for epilepsy, uh, and uh, he's playing American Truck Simulator. Uh, so let's um, let's raid him, and uh, and make sure you say hello uh, with me and stick around for the raid, of course. And, uh, you know, he's got a command for exclamation epilepsy. So when you get there, check, take a look at that if you're interested in supporting the charity. Um, thanks again, City Rat and Jesu Wu for the follows. Thanks again, City Rat and Roadster for the raves. Thank you guys for the chats and the redeems. And uh, you all have a good night. And we'll see you all tomorrow night for shenanigans. I uh, don't yet know what it'll be, but it'll be shenanigans no matter what game it is. Have a good night, everyone. Bye for now.